Hey guys, howdy do? I'm Karen Adamski with ShamaMama.com and today I am coming to you to share my thoughts and feelings and experience with um, creating this self-portrait. So, uh, last month I turned 50 years old and on my 50th birthday I really wanted to do something just for myself. I wanted to check out um, and, and the painting helps me do that. So I wanted to not paint for anybody else but just paint for myself. And I got the idea of doing a self-portrait, which I've never done. So I chose a picture that um, was taken during my 50th year. That was important to me. But then it was also important for me to choose a picture mm, that I felt kind of captured my spirit. And, and this was a time where I was laughing really hard. It was a very happy moment. I was in a very happy place. I was at the Hindu monastery in Kauai. And that's a very special place for me. Um, so that was a really great photo for me to pick. So I, I zoomed in on my face, which was a little bit uncomfortable for me, um, but I'm glad that I did it. And I got painting. And so I've learned, learned a lot about, um, about myself and my struggles with uh, ego. And um, because I'm always worried about mm, stepping into that ego territory, I'm always trying to keep that very balanced uh, to the point where I think I probably don't have I'm not probably weighted in, in, in ego enough at times. So, you know, it's, it's been a good learning experience for me. Um, one of the most important things that I learned is um, painting and, and, and really exercising the art of wabi-sabi. Wabi-sabi is the art of imperfection, um, the beauty of imperfection. Uh, I mean, really, what is perfect, right? So to be able to look at something that you might not be 100% comfortable with, you might think, oh, that's not quite right, and to be able to leave it and just know that that's right and let go of that control, for me, that was very healing. So really kind of left some things in here that are, are purposely in, in that wabi-sabi area. Um, for example, my teeth. Uh, I've always kind of felt like my teeth are one of my best features, and when I was painting, this, the, the teeth were kind of um, shadowed at, that I, you know, so I couldn't see each individual teeth, tooth that I was working with. And I thought, you know what, I love my teeth. I'm just going to put a whole bunch of extras in there. So I really don't know how many teeth are here, but they're way more than are in my actual mouth. And I did that on purpose because my teeth rock. <laughs> so I just put more of them. Um, the other thing that's kind of wabi sabi esque, um, this is actually really cool. So you see, and there's some flowers here and then the flowers here that kind of are on my neck. That was my first layer of, of painting and I knew that I wanted to be, put my face and my portrait within flowers and these colors. So, um, so that's kind of peeking out from the background but the coolest thing is I painted those flowers, I painted this portrait the day before my daughter and I went to this light museum. And I wanted to, I printed out some pictures here, or one picture, to give you an idea. It's not the best picture, but see how those flowers are showing up on us? It was this really cool art museum, this exhibit of light and um, art, just super cool. But this was the day after I painted this. And I typically would have probably filled in my neck here and, and made it look a little bit more realistic, but because this happened, the day after I just thought that is so flipping cool and this was another great memory and I want to capture that too so this energy is also captured here and reminds me of, of that trip to that museum so kind of cool um, some of the things that I've learned about myself um, people have always said I have high cheekbones and I really was forced to mm, really look at myself I mean I don't do that I wonder how many people really do um, I, I mean, I don't even really wear makeup much, um, so it's very, and when I do, it's very, boop, mascara, lipstick, and that's about it. So it's quick. I'm not really looking at the features of my face, but mm, creating this painting really made me stop and do that. So I was able to look at some of the things that are um, pretty about myself, and I think I have very nice high cheekbones, like people have, have said, but I'm finally seeing that now. This made me see that. Um, I think that, I, like I said, I captured the spirit of myself, and I think for, for me that was more important than actually creating a, 
a pretty painting that that is like, oh yay, it's so great, I want to hang it on the wall. Um, that wasn't that wasn't the purpose. That was not my intention. My intention was to try to paint and capture my spirit to the best of my ability, and I kind of feel like I did that. Um, because when I laugh real hard, this is really kind of what I look like. So, and I usually, you know, I'll throw my head back if I'm really chuckling, and this was kind of one of those times. So I feel I feel good about that. And I feel I feel good about the spirit that is me. Um, it made me really look at the nooks and crannies and realize that, especially on my 50th birthday, I um, I have some deep wrinkles and I have some deep dimples and I've lost a lot of weight, so my skin is kind of saggy and. It's okay. So painted all that in there too. You know, it's it just was an exercise in making me feel a lot better about myself. So, um, so now what? So I finished the painting. I was pretty happy about it. And then it's like, what do I do? Do I hang it on the wall? And to me, that was just like uh, I felt the the heard the heard the brakes going on in my head. Like, wah, wah, you're going into ego territory. Don't go there. So I didn't. I just kind of left it off to the side for a while, and it was laying uh, kind of against the table. And every time I'd walk into that room, I swear it was like seeing a huge billboard of myself. So I was struggling with seeing myself so close up and, and large. Um, and because of that, I chose to hang it on the wall. And um, I didn't. I, I didn't do it out of ego. Um, and I know that. I, I did it to try to get through this feeling of uncomfort. And I'm glad that I did because hanging it on the wall, I see I'm becoming more comfortable with it. And I actually um, am really proud of it. And I feel good about it. And I see the good features in myself. Um, and I don't look at this and think, oh gosh, I want to change this or that. I don't want to change anything. That's kind of what I realized from this. So pretty darn happy with who I am and where I am and even hanging this large picture of my face on the wall feels okay so I'm feeling feeling pretty good so I would highly recommend that um, whether you're an artist or not maybe try doing the same thing you know doodle or paint and take a picture of yourself and really look up close and try to capture that capture your spirit capture your wrinkles capture you know what it looks like and look up your nose a little bit <laughs> whatever that is capture it and see how that feels you don't have to share it with anybody but mm, i bet something inside of you will grow a little bit so that's what i hope for you thank you so much for your time thank you for listening i wish you all the best namaste until next time